after these messages. We'll be right back. And now, back to the show. When I think of home, I think of the people in my family. My dog isn't a person, but he's still a member of the family. Being furry doesn't stop him from being a hatcher. <laughs> Good dog. Mom, look how patient he is. Well, they don't call them St. Bernard's for nothing. Oh, I forgot to buy oatmeal. There. Turtle, you're the best looking thing I ever saw. Hey. Sorry. Second best. That's more like it. What time is that reptile show you're going to this morning, Peter? It's at 11, but Jimmy's dad wants to get there early so we can watch him feed mice to the big snakes. Mmm, you don't want to miss that. So you better finish up there with Turtle and please get the laundry from your room. That must be Jimmy. Hey, it's almost ready. It's almost seating time. Okay, yeah, I just got to get my dirty laundry. Well, just two, please. What are you talking about? This is clean. If my dad ever saw my room looking like this, he would lock the door and throw away the key with me inside. Well, this room would be perfectly fine if Dirt Brain didn't live here. Where is Fudge anyway? A haircut and a baby movie with my dad. Poor dad. Stuff. It's totally toxic. Don't forget the stuff under Fudge's bed. It's like she could see through walls. I heard that. And hear through you too. See, I don't even have to touch it. Hey, Jimmy, where's your dad? Oh, hi, Mrs. Satcher. We're meeting him in the lobby at 10.30. Oh, well, by my watch, it's 10.32. Come on, we're going to be late. Okay. Gormalin, here we come. Come on, let's go. Are you sure you don't want to come, Mom? Oh, no, I've got plenty of chores to keep me busy here. Okay, come on, let's go. All of which look pretty good compared to a reptile show. Oh, yeah, Mom, everyone's just fine. All right, I'll be sure to give them all your love. See you next week. Hey, Mom, look at this. Oh, well, Peter, that's, um... Machines. Well, I guess he must have just climbed in there himself then. Jimmy, this is serious. It's not so bad. A little duct tape and he'll be as good as new. You're going to wish you lived in another building, on another planet when Fudge sees this. Fudge can't see this. Fudge can't see this. Let's try to put the pieces together. <laughs> It looks great, Fudge. accidentally got put in the washer and you know he has to be hand washed but I know you have other stuffed animals you like too well maybe not as much I'm really sorry sweetie what do you say we go right now and see if they have a wonderful new monkey around and the corner at the toy store and stop to breathe oh. I don't want another monkey I want Ruby I don't want another monkey I want Ruby maybe I'll go 
go get that duct tape. I told him I'd have Rumpy sewed back together, but he wouldn't listen to me. Well, maybe he'd listen to a bowl of chocolate ice cream. I don't think there's enough ice cream in the world. Well, I'm out of ideas, Anne. Poor Fudge. He really loved Rumpy. I know how much I loved my duck when I was his age. Hey, Mom! I've got an idea. Well, I'll let Fudge my duck for a while. You mean you'd be willing to let Fudge use Ducky? It's really no big deal. I'm too old for a stuffed animal anyway. Just might work. Anything's worth a try until Rumpy gets fixed. Okay, let's move it. Hey, Fudge. I'm really sorry about Rumpy. <laughs> Oh, it's that vein, sweet summer smell. Yeah. Dampness, mildew, mud flats, dead fish. Fuzzy. Fudge, where's your bird? What do you mean? I mean, Feather's not in his cage. Fudge, where's Uncle Feather? He was bored. He wanted to come out of his cage. You let him out of his cage? Just for a little while. Fudge, go look for your bird. You can count your cereal later. Okay. Great. Well, how was I supposed to know the bird wasn't in its cage? You open the windows everywhere? Well, it smells so bad in here. He's not there where I left him and the window is open. Let's not panic. Let's think this through in a logical way. Fine, you stay here and think. We'll go find a feather. I'm going to realize later. Um, I'll call the Humane Society. Yeah, you better. That's it. Search and rescue. That's the spirit. Turn after these messages. The On ABC. Why? Why does everything happen to me? Why couldn't Jimmy Fargo get chicken punks? Well, Jimmy had them in the second grade. Don't you remember? We it's all had them. So unfair! Where is it written that life is fair? It's all ups and downs, downs and ups, mm. right, Buzzo? Oh, no, that's the way it is. <laughs> Buzzo. Buzzo. Ah, oh, the poor thing. Yeah, yeah it's rough. Peter, get in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what have you done so far? Uh, so far, uh, uh, well, uh, 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 a whirly gig, a uh, uh, cartwheel. Uh, cartwheel, yeah, and a, a one-mile boat row and a, and a headstand. Yes, that was a concession. It should have been a handstand. Oh, what's left? Uh, yeah, what's left? Uh, well, 20 push-ups a rope climb, a 100-pound bench press, a half-mile swim, and a one-mile run. <laughs> and for close friends and family, a quiet memorial service. <laughs> he can do it. He can do it. <laughs> Fudge! 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 Ha Mother? Here. I was meditating. Meditating? Yes. This is Buzzy's 10-step program for me. This is step number two. Take time and smell the roses. <laughs> well, what was I supposed to think? You look like you should have a chalk outline around your body. I thought you were dead. <laughs> but you almost scared me to death. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, not bad, Buzzy. 20 seconds off yesterday. <laughs> Aren't you overdoing it a bit with Buzzy, Mom? I mean, I haven't hardly seen you at all. Well, I was just trying to stay out of the way so you and Warren could have a real vacation. Well, would you like to do something together, just the two of us? Yes, I would. Well, wonderful. What should we do? Not handstands. <laughs> You're 
pale face? Well, how was I supposed to know? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning, honey. Welcome to Camp Kissy Face. You wish. Oh, yeah, I really wish. He was my baby, sir, but maybe he's gonna be my wife, too. Wife? Maybe. Nothing's definite yet. Fuzzy Senior and Grandma are best friends, but they don't sleep in the same room. Okay, that's enough. Jimmy doesn't want to hear anymore. Jimmy wants to have his lunch in peace. And... They got dizzy from Izzy's library! What was that about Peter getting dizzy? That was a joke! He felt like he was loading. <laughs> uh oh, I'm in trouble. Ah. Time out! Enough! Grandma! Guys! Come here, sweetheart. Come to Grandma. Grandma! Who's gonna kill me? I think so. Come here. Oh, you okay? Dizzy from Izzy. la dee da dee da da Maybe it's love. It has nothing to do with love. But she's made the whole thing up. Dizzy floating sounds like love to me. Yeah, Peter. Come be my own. Come make your home in my arms. And would you put the drawn butter on the table? Uh, Warren, tell everybody to be seated. I don't expect too much from Peter and Fudge, because you know they are the peanut butter and jelly brigade. Yeah, their idea of gourmet is super chunk instead of smooth. You've got to introduce exotic foods at an early age. It takes time to develop a taste for them. Is anybody listening? <laughs> hey, ho. What's this? This is an artichoke. It's fun to eat. Looks like a hand grenade to me. Probably tastes like that, too. Ah! Mm. Aren't things fit me? <laughs> I didn't have time to trim the tips. Well, it won't hurt you, for heaven's sakes. Why are you doing it? First, you pick a leaf off like this. Then you dip it in the drawn lemon butter. Then you take a bite like this. And then you lay it on your plate. Looks like a rat not on Rat! Artichokes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good name for him. What a choke that guy who invented him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no. They're delicious, fellas. They're delicious. <laughs> This is potato fuzzy, 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 no, no, no. The long way. No, your program only called for me to swing across the, the pond. I mean, there was no mention in there of the north, south, east, or west. I don't know about this. Well, they might have get no credit for an adroit command decision. I mean, that's what built this country. Uh, thinking on your feet, standing on your head, whatever. That's right. Yeah, there you come go. On, you come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 All right, obstacle course complete. Uh, Ten-step program complete. You got your stripes, soldier. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Well, uh, you, you all been rooting for me, and I really appreciate that. I really do. But there's much more at stake than just merely a uh, merit badge. Uh, why don't you tell them, Muriel? <laughs> Come on. Well, but... Oh, go ahead. Well, I guess you can only put it into words like this. Take my heart, I love you. We'll, we'll never part, I love you. Come, Come be my, my own. own. 
Come make your home in my heart. Oh, oh, what are you trying to tell us? What? Well, I think it's quite obvious, Ann, dear. Fuzzy and I are in love. Yes. We're going to be married. Yeah. <laughs> married? 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 Married! <laughs> oh, next Sunday, we'll all be together. Oh, aren't you rushing things just a little bit? Well, at our age, I don't think we should risk a long engagement. Well, it's not exactly like we have to get to know each other's families, you know. Grandpa, does this mean I'm going to be related to the Hatchers? Related? Related? Uh. Grandpa, you can't do this to me. Grandma, you can't do this to me. I can't believe this. You can't believe this. <laughs> well, let's get busy. We've got a thousand things to do. Right. We'll have the ceremony in the garden. Oh. Sheila, you can be a bridesmaid. Uh, uh, if that's all right with you, Muriel. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Spending time together. It's just that Sheila was always around, too. Oh, oh, oh. Listen carefully, this is very important. It's called the man overboard Excuse rule. Excuse me, Mr. Hatcher, but couldn't we call it the person overboard rule? I mean, man overboard sounds so sexist. You're absolutely right. The person overboard rule. Now, Sheila, you and Jimmy and Peter are the spotters. Anyone falls into the water, your job is to point. No matter how much the boat rocks, you have to keep pointing so that the person overboard doesn't get lost. Maybe I should just wait here. Don't worry. Once we get out there, you're gonna love it. Everybody got that? You keep pointing no matter what. So what do we do? Keep pointing. Everybody keep quiet while I go through my final checks. Sheets ready. Life preserver. All right, guys, let's get some shut-eye. Big day tomorrow. Jimmy's already asleep. Oh, good. Well, you too, night Oh, uh, Mom? Yeah? How's Dad? Oh, well, he'll be okay. He was just looking forward to that sale so much. You know how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, get some sleep. Got the ball game of the year tomorrow. It, not to mention Grandma's wedding. Normal kids. So we...